Sometimes even the strongest friendships are tested beyond measure. It is hard to accept changes in people, especially when the cause is power and position. Always be true to yourself and follow your heart, for true friendship can survive even the bitterest blow, even when a friendship is betrayed. Prepare to die, you filthy outlaws! Executioner? Everything is ready, Baron Alwyn. Execute me, Baron, but spare the others! Silence, you dog! Executioner, make sure he doesn't open his mouth again. Oh! Huh? Little John! Robin, what's wrong? What is it, Rob? Uh, I dreamt little John was being executed. Huh? But it's dawn. The executions must all be over. <gasps> Don't say that. It's our friends we're talking about. If they're our friends, then why did they turn against Robin? Yeah, but it was all a misunderstanding, Jenny. Little John is still a good friend. We just have to save them, Robin. But how can we? It's not gonna be easy. All of them will have them well guarded. There'll be soldiers everywhere. I don't care, Will. We must rescue them at all costs. We're going to have to find out exactly where they're holding them. Marion's right. Yes. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Come on, you soldiers of the Royal Guard. Get up, come on, move it. Come on, it's still early. What's the time? Oh. What's going on? It's still early, huh? Little John, what are you doing dressed up like that for? Don't be stupid, much. Don't you remember this is the uniform of the Royal Guard? Royal Guard? Huh? Oh, yeah, I remember. We're not outlaws anymore. That's right. We are responsible soldiers. Danger! To the well for your morning wash. Lip right, lip right, lip right, lip right, lip right, lip right, lip. Watch this much. Get your head up and your back straight. Hmm, good. About time they had a wash. You know, little Johnny's taking his being a captain a bit too far. You're right. He gave me a whack this morning for no reason. I tell you, I'm covered in bruises. Just take a look. Uh... Hey, you men! What are you doing? Don't stand there! Get on with it! You're in good form this morning, Captain John. Huh? Baron Alwyn, good morning to you, my lord! I'm expecting great things of you. Oh, yes, don't worry, I'm in full control. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be. <laughs> ah, the royal seal. Where did you get that? Huh? What's this? It's just a worthless bit of metal. Huh? No, that mark. He has the birthmark, but. Ah, sorry about that, Baron. Oh? Is anything wrong? Uh, no. I was just thinking that perhaps we should celebrate your promotion oh. with a feast. Yeah! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Oh, feast! Oh, yeah! Oh. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Baron Alwyn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you there. Yes, you come here. Huh? Me? Yes. You are to come to me. But I haven't had any breakfast yet! Do as you're told, much. You have to obey orders. All right. I wonder what he wants with much. Here they are. Huh? huh? Winifred, Jenny, what took you so long? Phew! Sorry, Will. What did you find out? Well, it's very strange. People told me that they hadn't been captured at all. But they must have been. There's no sign of them anywhere in the forest. But we checked the castle, too, and there's no sign of them there, either. Well, where are they, then? They can't just have disappeared. They must be in the dungeons, beneath the castle. So why hasn't he executed them? 
It's my guess that he's going to use them as bait to capture us. A trap? Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is great. Oh, cheers. <sighs> Come now, help yourself. Surely you can eat more than that. Well, it does seem a shame to waste it. Perhaps just a bit more. <laughs> Take as much as you like. Oh. Why do we have to stand and watch him stuff his face? Huh? Look at what he's wearing. Hmm? Ah! That, that is surely the seal! The royal seal of King R Quiet, you fool, not so loud! Uh, 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 but, Baron, what does this mean? Yes, it is King Richard's royal seal, all right. He was wearing it when he left. So, so how did that brat get hold of it? Now I'm really full! Well, much, now that you've had your fill. Huh? I have a question for you. Where did you get that medallion that hangs around your neck? I expect he stole it when he was an outlaw, Baron. Ah, stole it? It was a gift! A gift? From whom? Oh, a traveler in the woods. He lived with us for a while in Sherwood. He'd lost his memory, couldn't even remember his name. So we called him the Bear, because he was so strong, but kind and gentle too, one of the best. But one day he had to leave, I don't know why. But before he went, he gave his medallion to little John to remember him by. It's very special. And yesterday, the chief gave it to me. But why should you want to know all about that, huh? Uh, just curious. So then, did Bear recover his memory? I don't really know. Maybe. And if he recovered his memory, perhaps he's contacted Robin. Er, uh, Baron? Hmm? Is there anything else? I really ought to get back to the others. Oh, uh, don't rush off. Servants, bring fruit and honey cakes for the boy. Honey cakes? I haven't had those for ages. Yes, well, from now on, you'll be our guest of honor, young much. But what about the others and little John? Don't worry, I shall speak to Captain John. Ah, oh, good, the honey cakes. <laughs> Are they all for me? Why, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Baron. Uh, mm. Baron Orwin, wait! <sighs> what are you planning? I am sure the man he described is King Richard, and he may have contacted Robin Hood. So, so he is alive? This is terrible. What will become of us? He'll kill us. <laughs> Bishop, try and pull yourself together. And don't take your eyes off that brat. Am I to play nursemaid to that outlaw? The future of this kingdom is at stake. Do you understand? Huh? Wait! Huh? The future of the kingdom? I don't understand. What's he planning now? Hop, two, three, four! Hop, two, three! Come on, pick those feet up! You're supposed to be soldiers! Captain John, a moment, please. Captain John at your command, Baron Orwin! Very good, Captain. I see you know how to train your soldiers. Ha! They're used to me giving orders! Little John, I need your help in a certain matter. My help? My good reputation is at stake here. Well, how can I help? If I am to be successful, I must eliminate that outlaw, Robin Hood. Robin? Getting rid of Robin Hood shouldn't be too difficult, but I don't know, Baron. With your skill, it should be easy, and if you succeed, I will promote you to commander. Hey, me a commander? Little John? Oh yes, I can see it all now. A commander of the Royal Guard. Is it a deal? Of course. Hey, you lot, we have a job to do in the forest. Come on and do as your future commander says. Hmm. When they have eliminated Robin Hood, I shall have no further use for them. I shall get rid of those bumbling fools. <laughs> You're tickling me! <sighs> this is unbearable! What can Owen be thinking of, I wonder? The boy's a complete idiot! Huh? How are you getting on there, young sir? I'm having a great time, thank you, Baron Alwyn. Well, that's just fine. How would you like to become a prince, eh? What? 
<gasps> Little John, you're not serious. Yes, I am, Robin. I've never been more serious. I've got a brilliant future. Soon I'll be commander. This is another of Alwyn's tricks. Oh, Little John! Oh, Little John, nothing. You're all just jealous of my success. Get used to the idea, Robin. Count John himself is behind us. Huh? Count John? That's right, Robin. So there's no use trying to resist. Come quietly, and I'll make sure Alwyn spares your life. Little John, a few days ago you called me a traitor, but now it is you who is the traitor. Huh? You have betrayed your friends and this forest to the enemy. You're a traitor! So you think I'm a traitor? Well, I've got news for you, Robin. I was gonna save you. But now I've changed my mind. No! Robin! Get her away, Will! Robin! Hurry, Will! Uh, uh. Get going! Right. Come on! John, you'll have to fight me! Forget that, they're worthless. There's nothing I'd like better than to fight you, Robin. I will not spare you this time. We'll see. I better knock some sense into you somehow. Fight then! Can you see them, Marion? Yes, down there. Oh, Robin. Ooh. Ooh. Are you okay? Time to go. Hey, where are you, Chief? Hey, Chief. Rise and shine, man. Oh. Huh? Up, oh, two, three, four. Keep up, much. Huh? Oh. What do you say, much? I think you'd make a good prince, perhaps even a king, eh? But what's so special about me? You wear the royal seal of King Richard, and you also have the same birthmark. The sign of the bull. It is the same as the one the king has on his shoulder. Oh, that! But that's not Baron a... Alwyn! Huh? Please explain this foolishness. It is not foolishness, Bishop. Listen. It is written that only he who bears the mark of the bull may be king. The boy bears such a mark and will become Richard's successor. This is madness. Well, much does that explain everything to your satisfaction? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Bring the prince's clothes. Huh? Come then, why don't you try them on for size? But they're too flashy for me. Nonsense, they are perfect. Try them. All right. Baron, you're not seriously suggesting we replace King Richard with this silly little fool? No, Bishop, you and I will be ruling the kingdom. Ah, much you look just fine, my boy. Really? And now you must learn to behave at court. Now then, you'll be known as King Richard II. Richard II? Yeah, well, I suppose I'll get used to it. Now if you will excuse us, Prince Much, we have things we need to discuss. Come along, Bishop. This way. Ah? Huh? Oh, yes. Richard II. Baron, you may leave our presence now. This is madness, Baron, and you know it. You're going to get us into a lot of trouble. Shut up. Bishop, you are a real bore. Huh? Well, good idea. A glass of wine, please, Baron. Huh? There. That should do it. But that's the poison you had sent from the east. Alwyn, Alwyn, why are you poisoning the wine like that? This wine will... Baron, how can you do a thing like that? You blow a blood vessel, you old fool. But it's murder! Go bloody murder! You can't! It's 
Richard Human, please hold it! Listen, you blustering idiot. Richard is missing and we have found his successor. But that's no reason to go poisoning Count John! Don't you see? Just a sip of this wine and the kingdom will be ours. I, I'm not that desperate! Eh? You hypocrite! What are you afraid of? You have been guilty of many dishonest dealings in your past. But if the plan fails, we are dead! Huh? Careful, Bishop. <laughs> hmm. Now, all you have to do is to make sure he has a sip of this, and then everything we have always wanted will be ours. <laughs> if Richard were to come back now, I'd be doomed. I might as well be dead. Fox, bring me more wine. Count John, I have brought you up this bottle of good wine I found in the cellars. Ah, oh, good man, Bishop. Come bring it here. Ah, uh, of course. Mm, pour it, will you? There's a good fellow. Mm, what's wrong? Your hand is shaking. <laughs> oh, nothing, Count. <laughs> Bishop, I do believe you've been drinking too much of the stuff yourself. Hey. Yes, too much to drink, that's it. Sorry. Forget it. Let's taste some of this excellent wine. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, curse it. I must be drunk myself. Oh, I'm sorry, Bishop. I've wasted some of your precious wine. Come, pour me some. Hmm? Oh, what's wrong? Are you ill? You're pale. You look as if you've seen a ghost. Are you up to something? Poison to wine, maybe? <laughs> Come now, it was just a joke. Alwyn might be capable of it, but you would never have the nerve for it. Enough of this nonsense. Pour the wine. The wine? Ah, yes, uh, pour the wine. Um. <laughs> be quick about it, man. Come on, what are you dithering for? Pour the wine! Wait here until I give you the signal. Sir! I will accuse Hartford of murdering Count John and then I will have him executed. <laughs> huh? Count John, is anything wrong? Count John? <gasps> The wine. Where's Hartford? Did... did he do it? Oh, that bungler! Hmm? Oh, Baron Alwyn. Huh? Where is that ugly bishop friend of yours? He was supposed to be bringing me more wine. Alwyn, be a good fellow. Go get me some. Yes, yes, of course. Curse that cowardly Hartford. He bungled it. I shouldn't have trusted him. Very well, I'll do it myself. I've got to get away. He'll come after me. I know it. I'm doomed. He'll kill me. I can't run any further. Bishop Hartford! Ah! Robin! Bishop Hartford, why are you skulking about here at night? Oh, Robin, thank goodness I finally found you. Robin, you must help me, I beg you. No, Bishop, I'm not falling for that one. No, no, it's not a trick. I was ordered to poison Count John, but I couldn't do it and I ran away. You poisoning Count John? Yes, listen to me, Alwyn is mad for power. He plans to poison the Count and have me executed for it. He's going to put a puppet king on the throne so he can rule the whole kingdom himself. Alwyn is even more evil than I'd ever imagined. Robin, you must help me. Alwyn must be stopped. You are the only one who can do it. I don't want to die. Please, Robin, help me. Help me. <laughs> he has gone too far. Alwyn, it is time to put an end to your evil deeds.
In the next episode, Count John sees through Alwyn's plot to put much on the throne. In preparation for the coronation, Alwyn begins to destroy the villagers' houses to make way for the new royal avenue. Meanwhile, Robin is determined to stop Alwyn's evil plans once and for all, and decides to go to Nottingham alone to kill Alwyn, or die in the attempt.